to the adventure and put my on W four C Y Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. But I never return to the world that we cross the white heart. So I wait in space and I breathe. This is Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... Alfonso from Heartsick. The headliner of last <laughs> night. I have, basically, you could probably say that, right? Yeah, man, oh, after all like, the craziness. That is so, and you know what? <laughs> I'm so glad that your equipment actually worked after that, because I was there, as we were talking about, and holding the campy that was over the equipment... Like, for dear life, until it started lifting me off the ground, I'm like, mm, yeah. This isn't no. good. And then I, I can't believe that your equipment survived all that. Yeah, man, it was kind of crazy. I, I wasn't at our camp. I was backstage on main stage helping working because, like, I got caught there. I had just eaten dinner, and we were passing through, and we needed to pick up a drill that we forgot on stage. And then all hell broke loose, and I became, like, a stagehand. And then I had to hide in, like, Evanescence, like, dressing room area. It was crazy, dude. Was like, Amy there, too? Yeah, she was. But I saw her once, but not at, like, I saw her at catering. I didn't see her at uh, the actual, like, where her, like, trailer was. She was inside the trailer, but I was outside, and a couple of our, our friends were. And then we came back to camp, and we saw all that happened. And, you know, so our plan was to come here. We played the main stage at 12.35. We opened up the, the main stages. And then yesterday, today, and tomorrow, we would be playing generator stages. So we brought all our own sound gear, generators, everything to throw a show. And we had everything set up. We got here we, we got here Wednesday, did it all, did it all nice, set it all up great, you know. And then, like, this storm comes and just wipes everything out. We had to put it all together real quick. It didn't sound the greatest as far as like the way we would like it to sonically sound, but we still pulled it off, Listen, and people loved it. So how could people not? They lost every single band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, that it it was over. Yep. Even my photographer, she, when we were leaving later, we came down here to check things out once it was clear, and she's like, uh. I'm just going to go watch the Heart Sick show. That's amazing. We're you know, doing it again tonight, and we think that tonight will probably be even bigger because now the word's getting around. I think the word's like, oh, crap, these guys are doing this and that, so that'll be cool. Like, I'm hoping it goes over well. I'm hoping more people show up, you know, just grow the exposure and give something people to do later. And, you know, for, like, us underground bands, we don't we don't get these opportunities often, so... We're very blessed and very fortunate and thankful to Blue Ridge and everybody who's done it. So, Yeah, and I'll tell you what, you're not going to want to hear this, but you are going to want to hear this. Yeah, I, I would we, love we, to hear it. We've been in stage one, yeah. which means it could happen again. So you could be the headliner again. Again, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. For you sure. could headline the whole Blue Ridge <laughs> Rock <laughs> Festival. Every night, because like, storms just keep taking everything out, man. Yikes. I thought I escaped that leaving Florida, like... I'm on tour now, so I won't be home. But there's a Category 4 heading yeah. my way. Being from Florida, I hear you, man. You know, Miami. Uh, you and you get away from I'm it, in West you Palm. show up, man. And I'm like, fuck. But I, I'm the one in here that knew. Like, when that wind kicked up and I looked over there, I'm like. Yeah, that's not good. Not good. Yeah, and yeah. then when I was over by your tent, okay, you didn't see this because you were at the main stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The f- fucking thing made a u-turn like literally it passed us and we're like we're thinking we're in the clear and it literally made a u-turn and came back oh no do you remember years ago in florida when that one hurricane i can't remember which one it was because it was that time we had like five hurricanes one season it went up north out of florida yep and then came back back down and hit West Palm Beach, like yep. on the return. It's like, yep, oh, yep. we forgot West Palm Beach. I mean, for me, 
I, you know, I, I was reading, you know, the news and it hit me. Yes. It hit me a few, like a week or two ago that a hurricane Andrew, which I sur- I survived. I was that. in that one too. Yeah. It was 31 years ago. And I was like, Oh my God. Can you 30, believe that? 31 years. Dude. I remember. Okay. So what's funny about that is I remember I was living in Coral Springs and I remember making my kids sleep in the hallway and I was like outside checking it out because, wow. you know, I was in my 20s. Yeah, so I was like, sure. fuck that hurricane. I'm going to go check it out, yeah, you know, yeah. and uh, that was wild. Yeah, I uh, I can't believe it's so long I remember ago. leaving the during the eye leaving where I was as a little kid, like nine or 10 and going outside and looking and it being just the craziest like sight I'd ever seen. It was like pure blood red sky, no sound, no birds, the absence of all sound. And you're just kind of in this like weird phase of the storm where nothing's happening, but there's no anything. Right. You don't, there's the, it it was insane. You never forget that. Yeah. You don't forget that for sure. I had uh, that one month we, which is the same time we had that U-turn one, but when we had, what was it? Francis and something else that hit twice in a row. The epicenter was the town I lived in where my studio is. I literally didn't have power for a month. That's crazy. I had all kinds of frozen chicken and shit in the freezer that my kids, that's why I was feeding them. I had the fireplace. So I just cooked everything in the freezer on the fireplace. Oh, God. But you know what was cool about it? My kids learned. That you can have fun without your devices. Yeah, for sure. Because I made it fun for them. You know, we didn't have any cell service, no nothing. No, yeah, everything's gone so at that like, point. It's like, it's like you're back in the Amish times. <laughs> yeah, now you get creative, you yep, know? Yep, yep, for sure. For so, sure. so you guys, last year, what's been happening in the year to lead up to Blue Rock? Oh, man. Blue Ridge Rock uh, Festival. Oof. Let's see, in the year that led up, so we did incarceration this year. That's a cool fest, uh, ain't it? We went on tour for two weeks. We did our own little headlining tour, and that was crazy and awesome. Uh, we put out two new songs. Uh, we put out two new videos. We recorded another new video. We have an EP coming out in November. We have nice. uh, what else? We have. A tour in Puerto Rico that we're going out to do I love I love Rincon. We were just talking Rincon? about this yesterday because I'm a surfer. Yeah, nice. So, like, one of my greatest memories is surfing above humpbacks because yeah, I went yeah. during humpback season. And I was literally surfing yeah, above yeah. the humpbacks. Luquillo, Rincon, good places for surfing. So, we'll be back in Puerto Rico to do that. Uh, yeah, man. And then we just we signed a little cool little uh, indie deal with um, THC Music and Films, Tom Hazert, who used nice. to be... One of the head guys at Roadrunner out there and stuff. So, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So, we have a tour coming up with Taproot. So, that'll nice. be great. And so they'll be here tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, that's We'll cool. be hanging out with them. So, that'll be cool. Nice. Maybe they could open up for you at the uh, camp- <laughs> at the camping show. Yeah, I'm not sure that they will do that, but uh, we're definitely... <laughs> We're definitely down to tour with them when, for sure. When I so. interview him tomorrow, I'm like, listen, dude. Sick. Yeah, talk to him if you, we know if, those guys If well. you want to be the headliner, you need to go and play at the Heart Sick because <laughs> they're the headliners <laughs> of this whole festival. <laughs> so, awesome. Tattoos. You got a lot of them. Yes. Which one has the most meaning to you? Which one has the most meaning to me? Uh, man, I would say that probably the one that has the most meaning to me is... I'm going to go with... This right here, it says 305, and then it says KL, and then it's got the uh, Michigan, like, picture of the state, but it's because 305 is where I'm from, from Miami, 517 is where I ended up in Michigan, KL used to be the old band name, which was No Life, and it started in 2000, so No Life became Heartsick, and that's sort of... That all kind of encompasses everything that I love, so. I love it. That's yeah, pretty yeah. cool. See, that's a cool explanation. Definitely. So, do you have any stories from this whole musical journey that's crazier than what happened yesterday? Because I would normally say, what's the craziest? And a like, musical I'm thinking, journey you're that's good. happened that's crazier than yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I would say the craziest thing that has happened that's crazier than yesterday for us as a band is probably when we were on tour 
and we flipped our van with oh, all our gear shit. in it and almost died. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's a little crazier than yesterday. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty brutal. It always comes down to your gear, though. I think your gear is the problem. It's always the center of the <laughs> yeah, right, drama. Right. Yeah, no. We ended up, we flipped our van and got into a really, really bad accident Aye. back in 2004. But thank God everybody survived. Nobody got hurt, you know. So it was, we hit some black ice. And yeah, that's uh, probably, the, I think that's probably the craziest thing. And the black second, ice is the fucking worst. Yeah, yeah. I'd say... Between that and having someone in our band that was in our band die, I think that those are probably the two. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are, I'd say those are crazier than that, but but yeah. like crazy not in a bad way experience. I think the storm was kind of, you know, probably the craziest it so did, far. It did rank up there. That's why I it was did. like, I had to do that Definitely disclaimer. Ranked up there. Like if we didn't have that storm, my normal question is what's the craziest? But with that <laughs> storm, I'm like, yeah, yeah I don't want, we can't talk about that again. <laughs> yep, for sure. So how do uh, people check out your socials, all your, uh, you know, your music, and most importantly, buy your merch, because they can't listen to my show unless they buy your merch. Yeah, yeah please buy merch. Uh, no, yeah, the, e the easiest way is just go to our website, heartsick.us. That has every single one of our socials, but if you're wanting to just go straight to a social, everything is Heartsick Band except YouTube. YouTube is Heartsick Official, and that's literally everything. So, Facebook, Heartsick Band, in the Go Fart, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Facebook Band, TikTok, Facebook Band, uh, it's uh, Heartsick Band. And then the only difference is YouTube, which is Heartsick Official. So, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Heartsick Band, YouTube is Heartsick Official, or you just go to heartsick.us and you get to all there. Nice. So, you know, I'm thinking they last night would have been the perfect TikTok. Last night would have been what? The perfect TikTok. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got a bunch of videos. We're working on a bunch of, like, I do video stuff, so we're working on a bunch of content right now to kind of put it together because there's so much stuff. I mean, from, like, our stage show, the main stage appearance that we had here, apparently I was, like, the only singer that got off stage at all and did anything with anybody, so that was cool. We got a lot of video of that. So Nice. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm thinking, man, it would have been nice if somebody vi videoed us Hold it down your tent, because that that <laughs> TikTok would probably go viral. I would have, I would have <laughs> loved, but not loved to take that video. I know, right? <laughs> I, I I got back to camp and I was like, man, I didn't even take any pictures or video of what was happening, man. <laughs> I took I took one aftermath video and it was like, it was it was it was crazy. It was, and then we got to see. Uh, we left camp today. We had to go do a run for our camp. And for our artist stuff, and uh, we saw a lot of like what happened. And people in general camping area got really hit hard. I felt yeah. really bad for them. A lot of stuff got messed up over there. Well, you and I know, being from Florida, that this is that shit happens. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how many times? Okay, so I live in a high rise now. Oh, so, dude. So how many times I go to dinner? I come home. I go on, <laughs> go onto the balcony and sit out. I'm like, where's my chair? Yeah, the wind <laughs> just comes and it's... Oh, yeah, Mother totally. Mother Nature is unkind when she wants to be, man. But, hey, what a way to have a heart sick show. There that, you go. Now, that's metal. Exactly. <laughs> that is metal. Oh, that man. That is metal. Anything else you want to share with the listeners we haven't covered already? No, nah, man. Uh, you know, I guess I always have just a little message. Like, if there's anybody out there in a band and, you know, you're at home and you're wanting to do stuff... Uh, you know, real quick story from us is we're a band that has had no label representation until about two months ago. And wow. uh, we've been doing it all by ourselves. Uh, you can do it. It's not easy. It's not going to happen overnight. But if you have a dream, I'd say just stick with it and just and just go for it. Don't give up. That's right. And great words. Because an overnight success takes about 20 years. People exactly. don't realize that. It's really that. not overnight. Never. Ever, <laughs> yeah. ever. People it's think it lot. is, yeah, but they yeah. don't see what happened before. Exactly. There's like, no overnight anything. It just it seems overnight to you. No doubt. Like, I remember Metallica sharing uh, sharing one room with three other bands eating bologna sandwiches with no bread. Yep. Yep. And look, there yep. you go. But yep. people think, oh, they just made it. Like, exactly. Yeah, overnight. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I love it that you're here at Blue Ridge Rock Festival. I'm going to be by tonight to check out your set as the headliner. Let's do it. And, uh, hey, love to see more of you. Thanks uh, a lot. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for having 
myself and the representative of a band for Hard Sick on the Pipe Man Radio. That's awesome. Hey, thank you for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. All right. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio. Radio.